it was a $30,000 cash deal. Don and Rita Williams, I still remember their name. And they referred me uh, someone that was a, a sell and buy situation. I think they sold for like 250, 260. Um, and then they ended up buying for like 125. They were like a move down, right? Yeah. Then they referred me to another person. That person's house was like a $500,000 listing. They ended up downsizing, you know, into a hundred and seventy-five thousand dollar home or something like that. And so, like one thirty thousand dollar deal that was cash, yeah. right, turned into you know all of these other um, opportunities. And so, I think so many times that people just judge by the by the cover. And, and in that moment of this is the dollar amount I'm going to get, instead of I'm always like, hey, is this a, a one year play for you to be a real estate agent, or is this a career choice? Because right. if it's the career choice. Yes, we have to think about today because we have today's bills, but we also have to build for tomorrow in the future. And this is another person that you're adding to that client database that if you do a great job and you follow up and you stay in front of them, you will get further opportunities as your career goes on. 100%. I completely agree with that. And you know what? I had like a full circle moment like six months ago. Um, one of my first deals, not one of my first, but or very early on, maybe 2014, I sold a $40,000 house in Whitehall um, to a really young guy. He was probably my age at the time. I mean, he was young, uh, maybe even younger. And he called me probably a year or six months ago to sell it. And he um, you know, said, I don't know if you remember me. And I remembered immediately. I, I remember, honestly, like I may not be able to rattle off names like off the top of my yeah. head. But you call me. I like something I'm like triggered. I realize, you know, I'm like, okay, I remember you. So he's like, you may not remember. I'm like, no, I remember you. You bought a house on, you know, Martin Avenue or something. And he was like, oh my God. Yeah. He was like, well, it looks like you're selling way too expensive homes to help me anymore, but I want to sell my house. And I was like, absolutely not. Like, you know, I am not, you know, too busy to help you. I'm like, you were one of my first transactions. Like, let's meet. It'll be great to catch up. And it was just so full circle because he said, you know, you know how many people I called to show me homes that were $40,000 yeah. that ignored, that did not help me. And he said, you ran me around everywhere I wanted to go, you know, and I don't remember this, but he was like, you showed me probably 10 houses and then you worked that deal. And you know what I'm thinking is like, <laughs> I needed that money, <laughs> believe me, you know, <laughs> but um, it was just kind of full circle. Cause I'm like, wow, like that's amazing. And like to get a call from someone like that was, was just amazing. And you know, he's had that house as just an investment property now. He, you know, and, and he was gonna buy another house, you know, and he actually moved out of state for a while. And then I helped him buy another house, you know? And so um, it is just full circle and where things come from. And um, I helped a neighbor's daughter of mine one time who I did not know was my neighbor's daughter, helped her sell a house. Um, it was a condo that she had bought for her kid that was in college. It's like $130,000 condo off Sawmill Road. I sold that for her. Um, went well, she didn't really stay in touch, whatever, you know, super easy transaction. A couple years later in Park's Edge, um, someone's like, man, I feel like I know you. I'm like, yeah, maybe cool. You know, and just being neighborly, come to find out her parents live in Park's Edge, um, you know, through just a chain of conversation, me getting to know them, come to find out, you know, that's that was her mom and dad and they figured out it was me that helped their daughter and all this stuff and she was in such a rough spot and you know going through a divorce and all this stuff and um you know they had a good friend that was a real estate he owned a company with some guy who had a real estate license mostly sold commercial but when they sold their 1.6 million dollar condo in park's edge last year he called me and said i just remember all the nice things my daughter had to say about you and i want to tell you that i will get an earful of shit from my from my business partner for not using him to sell this. But he said, I remember how hard you worked for her and how much, you know, that meant to her. And he said, I just will never forget that. And he said, so we'd like for you to sell our condo. Sold that condo for him, sold him another condo in the building next door, um, you know, all from that. So like, I always tell people like, do not burn bridges. You, Columbus is the biggest small town ever. You, know, <laughs> you it is, you will, you know, people will come out of the woodwork and, and there are connections all over the place and how you treat people is so important and the connections you make and keeping those are so important. It is so rewarding to hear things like that and to work with people that truly appreciate it. And, um, you know, I'm 
impacted by the impact I can make on on them. And, you know, hopefully in a positive way, even if it's a negative situation, you know, she was going through a divorce and had a lot of financial troubles and all these things, you know, being a positive part of a negative situation is yeah. nice.